Welcome back to the channel everyone. Guess what? Another iPhone comparison and this time we're talking about two different iPhones that are still older. They're used iPhones. They came out in 2017 and 2018 respectively and there's not a lot of similarities between these phones but there's also some cool advantages and both of these phones surprisingly have still held up quite well even in the 2020 time frame so if you're looking for a used phone if you're looking for a cheaper phone these two might be on your radar at the same time and those phones are the iPhone XS Max and the iPhone 8 Plus now you might think these are two totally different demographics and you're probably going to be right but the way of the world is is that as phones get older and older they depreciate more and more and for some reason the iPhone XS Max depreciated quite a lot. It's about half the cost that it used to be. The iPhone 8 Plus is about a third of the cost it used to be a little bit and I'm basing these on the base models on Amazon right now and on eBay. So the iPhone XS Max on eBay is selling for about $540. The iPhone 8 Plus is selling for about $300 on Amazon. If you want to pick those ones up for the prices I just listed, I'll leave them linked down in the description below so you can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. But looking on the front, we're already going to see some pretty major differences. And to be honest, the Tennis Max is going to be the one that's going to future-proof yourself the most. It has that newer type of design, even though it does have the notch. A lot of phone manufacturers are still producing phones with notches and bezels and hole punch displays, so you're really not like too far behind. The iPhone 8 Plus, on the other hand, has a 5.5-inch Retina IPS panel. It's a 1080p panel, and you do have True Tone, you have four sets and all those things, and I really do like that display. It looks really, really nice. Even for an IPS panel, it's pretty good. The only downside of that panel would definitely be the bezel around it. Like I said with the XS Max, now in 2020, that phone and phone style definitely looks much better than the iPhone 8 Pluses. But even if you own an iPhone 8 Plus or an iPhone 7 or something like that, a lot of people look at that phone and they won't necessarily think like, oh, you have an old phone or you have like a super old unusable phone or anything like that. They'll just be like, oh, you have one of the older iPhones. And I don't think that sounds as bad as having an old phone, to be honest. <laughs> So in my opinion, I think the A Plus's design still holds up. The Tennis Max though has a 6.5 inch Super Retina OLED display. That one is 1242 by 2688, dude, and it's a very good panel. I mean, I think the 11 Pro Max, even the 11 Pro, like they're they're both more or less the same. They have very good colors, the 10s Max included. It looks like amazing compared to the iPhone 8 Plus. That one is definitely the better panel. And even though they're the same size in the hand, I really do like how the iPhone 10s Max is, you know, it takes up that full display and it, you know, there's so much more real estate on that display. And I like having bigger phones than not having bigger phones, but for some reason I still use a smaller one for some reason, the 11 Pro. But the 10 S Max's display is very good and I do give it a thumbs up in my books. On the bottom we do have lightning ports, on the back we have glass backs and dual camera setups on both phones. We have a single camera and a telephoto lens which I'll get into in a second. And we also have IP certification on both phones but they're a little bit different. We have IP67 dust and water resistance on the iPhone 8 Plus. You can go up to 1 meter of water for 30 minutes. With the iPhone XS Max, we have IP68 dust and water resistance, where we can go up to 2 meters of water for 30 minutes. So a little bit of difference, not a humongous one, but you do have some cool advantages going for an iPhone XS Max than going for an iPhone 8 Plus. Even right now, we're already kind of seeing some differences between them. So that really pretty much covers it up in terms of the outside. Like I said, the iPhone XS Max definitely wins in terms of the hardware on the outside. Now hitting on the software, the iPhone 8 Plus started off with iOS 11, we were able to get iOS 13.3 on it, and for the future, I really don't know. I mean, if I had to say it, it would probably match the same life cycle as the iPhone 10 since they have the same chipsets. But like I said before, I don't know how to verify this. There's no way to verify this, but the, I'm pretty sure the iPhone 10 is going to last as long as the iPhone 10s and 10s Max in terms of software updates. Like I said, I have no idea how to verify that. There's no way you can verify that right now. But if the iPhone 10 were to get the same software updates as the iPhone 10s, I'm sure the iPhone 8 Plus and iPhone 8 will end up doing it because they had the same chipsets and everything. Where in the iPhone 10s Max, you know, we started off with iOS 12, which was just the last version of iOS. We were able to get iOS 13.3 on it, which is really cool. And there's going to be many, many more versions of software that these phones are going to be getting. So I wouldn't really worry about it too much. But if you had to say it, I mean, the iPhone 8 Plus has a higher likelihood of ending sooner than the iPhone XS Max. But the coolest advantage for the iPhone 8 Plus currently would definitely be that check range jailbreak. And that has a lot to do with the software. Basically, if you're on any version of software for the iPhone 8 Plus, you were able to jailbreak that specific version of iOS. So it really doesn't matter if you're on iOS 11 or iOS 13 or iOS 14 in the future. You will be able to jailbreak your iPhone 8 Plus on any version of iOS, which is so crucial. That's an amazing thing. It's semi-tethered, so you do have 
have to plug in it every once in a while when you reboot your phone. But other than that, I mean, it's one of the greatest things that's happened for the older iPhones in a while. The iPhone XS Max did have a jailbreak, but there's not one on 13.3 yet, but there is going to be that uncovered jailbreak that's going to be releasing soon. As of me making this video, it has not been released yet officially, but once it does, it's probably not even going to be out in like a couple days from now, so... By then there is going to be a jailbreak. I don't think it's going to be as good as Checkrins to be honest, but it's still pretty good. So both ones are going to have jailbreakable access in the future, but the iPhone 8 Plus currently has the best jailbreak for sure. So that pretty much covers it up in terms of the software. Now hitting on the performance, the iPhone 8 Plus was released with the Apple A11 Bionic chip, a hexa-core CPU, and there were two different models, a 64 and 256 gigabyte model, and both those models had three gigabytes of RAM, where the iPhone XS Max had the Apple A12 Bionic chip, a hexa-core CPU, and three different models, a 64, 256, and 512 gigabyte models, and all those models had four gigabytes of RAM. And what I can tell you about the performance is the iPhone 8 Plus definitely holds its own, okay? It's not a slow phone at all. And I think there's something about clicking that power button that's almost like instantaneous. Like I kind of miss that because when you click it, you expect to be on the full screen. There's been many times where I was on the XS Max and even XS and 10 where I would swipe up and it would just take me to the multitasking panel or it would do a lot of weird things. And it's just like an extra animation the iPhone 8 Plus is like, when you click it, it's there, and I really do like that, but that has nothing to do with the performance. The iPhone 8 Plus definitely holds its own. It's, you know, whenever you open something, it opens it. It really is what I expect it to do. But the iPhone XS Max, recently, I'll tell you, since I installed like the 13.3 beta or 13.4 beta, that phone has been flying. I, I've really seen this phone, I mean, even since the time I bought it, it was perfectly fine. I mean, it was like, you know, all these phones are kind of getting more and more, more and more the same, to be honest, until I see some huge apps that like take up a lot of the resources in the back end. But to be honest, I mean, both phones are fast, but the XS Max is definitely faster. And I would say it's probably smoother as well. There are some cases where if I'm navigating on the 8 Plus, it's a little bit choppy. It's a little bit weird here and there. But really, for the most part, it handles everything just fine. The XS Max is definitely on the other level, though. I mean, it's faster. It's smoother. You do have that newer type of design with that gesture base. And whether you like it or not, like I said, I don't really, I mean, I, I'm not, I don't mind too much. It is the way of the future. And it definitely seems more seamless, even if the home button is a little bit more faster. The swiping around and all that stuff, definitely, I like that a lot more than the home button, to be honest. But performance wise, I'll definitely tell you the XS Max will definitely win. You're getting that extra RAM, you're getting that better chipset and everything. And I truly do believe that if it's between both of them, the iPhone XS Max will definitely win in the performance category over the iPhone 8 Plus for sure. Now that kind of sums up the performance side of things. Let's go ahead and talk about the camera. Like I said, they both have two 12 megapixel lenses. The iPhone 8 Plus has the wide and telephoto lens. Same things for the iPhone XS Max. The only main difference with the lenses though is that the telephoto lens on the XS Max does have optical image stabilization, where the iPhone 8 Plus does not have it. They're both able to shoot 4K videos at 60 frames, which is cool. On that front camera, 7 megapixel sensors. You can shoot 1080p on both, but you can do 60 frames per second on the iPhone XS Max, where the iPhone 8 Plus you cannot. And it's kind of funny because that was like a big feature at the time. Now we can do 4K at 60 on our iPhone 11s, which is pretty insane. Now talking about those back cameras, like I said, I think both cameras have pretty good sensors, but the iPhone XS Max might have the better advantage for sure. I mean, it's really close. I've done comparisons in the past between both of these, and like I said, I mean, there's probably a better camera sensor on the XS Max, but in the average lighting conditions that I was in, if I was testing them, I don't really think I saw a crazy amount of difference, but maybe if you're a photographer or anything, you know, maybe you can find a bigger difference than I could, but I'll just give it to the XS Max because it does have, you know, extra capabilities in the camera, but I still think it's pretty close between both of them, if I'm being honest. Now, ending it off with the battery life, the iPhone 8 Plus had a 2,691 mAh battery, the iPhone XS Max had a 3,174 mAh battery. Between both of them, like I said, they both had pretty good battery life but the iPhone XS Max definitely has a better battery life for sure. They both have wireless charging and everything but on the flip side because the iPhone XS Max has that bigger display it has a much more powerful processor and everything you might assume that the iPhone XS Max is way worse and it's not like horrible standby time is pretty good. I feel like they could have increased the battery size on this phone which they eventually did with the 11 Pro Max but I think the iPhone 8 Plus is pretty good too. Like I don't think it's like a crazy difference between them but I do think you know the iPhone XS Max probably ones in the battery category for sure. Now to kind of sum up the video and to answer the question, should you pick up an iPhone XS Max or should you save some money and pick up an iPhone 8 Plus? If I'm being honest, I'll probably tell you, you know, there's a couple ways to look at this. If you currently own an iPhone 8 Plus, I would say keep it. There's no reason, real reason to go and upgrade to an iPhone XS Max. If you own an iPhone XS Max, I'll tell you to keep it. There's no reason to downgrade to an iPhone 8 Plus. But if you don't have either of these, I will probably tell you, I would say figure out your use case. 
Are you planning on keeping a phone for like three, four years from now or even a couple years? The iPhone XS Max will definitely be the better way to go. You can get it for, you know, half the price of what it used to cost. You can keep this phone for a couple more years and you won't necessarily feel like you have a super outdated device. With the iPhone 8 Plus, like as soon as you buy it, you'll kind of feel like you have an outdated device because it still has the home button and it still has that older design. So it isn't like an end all be all. It's not the worst thing in the world. But that is a super important thing to keep in mind. The design is a super important thing because you're looking at it every day and you don't you don't want to like sit there and have a phone that looks old and stuff like that. So not saying the iPhone 8 Plus looks old, but it definitely looks older than what we have now. So that kind of covers it up there. Like I said, if you want to pick these up, links down in the description. But that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it'll mean so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel all those things are linked down below i'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then